What's good, y'all? You back with streets, freestyle cooking with streets. You know how I do, y'all. Got another dinner for y'all that I'm sharing. Let's get right in. All right. Tonight we're gonna be doing some turkey burger sliders, y'all. Turkey sliders, street style, of course. All right. I got a pound of ground turkey right here. Okay. And we about to get this thing popping, y'all. Let's do it. All right, so now we're going to go ahead and get our meat seasoned up. All right, I'm going to go ahead and put about a teaspoon of salt. Boom. Go ahead and put in a teaspoon of pepper. All right. Also going to put in a teaspoon of Worcestershire sauce, Worcestershire sauce, however you say it, teaspoon. I'm also going to add a teaspoon of my picante seasoning, you know, get my burgers that little oomph. You know, I like, I like my food spicy, but not too spicy. All right. I'm going to go ahead and add a teaspoon of my garlic sriracha. All right. Also going to add some hot sauce, teaspoon. All right. And I got here some fresh fresh thyme that I uh took off the stem. All right. I got some chopped jalapeno pepper. And some chopped garlic, y'all. Get all that up in there. All right. Okay, now I'm going to take my fork and try to mix it all up, y'all. You know, to get this, you know, meat seasoned up real nice, y'all. All right, now that I got my meat all tossed up with my fork, now I'm going to go ahead and put my hands in there and bring everything together, y'all. You'll get all the seasoning on the side of my pan all up in the meat. All right. go all right now that I got my meat all put together so I can get ready for my patties for my sliders I'm gonna use a uh, ice cream scooper you know what I'm saying because I want to make you know small little burgers for the slider so I'm use a ice cream scooper so if you have a ice cream scooper use that you know get a scoop full Go ahead and make your little patty. And usually with turkey, y'all, you know, like when you when you um uh cooking uh ground beef or doing a bird a beef burger, you now sometimes you gotta put the little indent in the middle after you make the patty, because you know how the burgers start to shrink when you cook them to keep them, you know, round. With the turkey, with the ground turkey being so um, lean, with hardly no fat, they usually stay the way they shaped. You feel me? So after we get our patties done up, I'm going to go ahead and put them in the refrigerator and the freezer for about a half hour, y'all. All right. So I'm gonna go ahead and continue making my patties and get this up in the freezer, y'all. Get back to y'all. Let's do it. Okay, people. It's been about a half hour. 
Got my sliders up out the freezer. Got my pan ready to go. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and put my pan on medium high. You know, give give my pan about a minute to heat up. You know, trying to do it. I'm trying to start heating my pans up this way instead of putting like the oil or butter or whatever in the pan first. Because I was I happen to be watching some YouTube videos of uh, heating up your pan and seen a couple uh, videos where you know how you can control what's going on in the pan by the way you heat up your pan. You know what I'm saying? So you know, always learning something new, always trying to do something different. You know, freestyle cooking. All right. All right, now that my pan is a little hot, I'm going to go ahead and put some olive oil up in there. Let me get that all around. All right, now I'll go ahead and get my sliders up in there. All right, now I got my sliders up in there. I'm gonna try to go ahead and cook these for about three or four minutes on each side, y'all. You know what I mean? But you basically want to cook them. You know, I, I like, like I said, I like mine well done. Three or four minutes should, should uh, get me there. But if you like yours medium, however you like your burger, you know what I'm saying? You know, you just use less time. All right, so we're gonna do three or four minutes on each side and keep this thing moving. All right, y'all, it's been about three minutes so far. I'm going to flip them over. All right, now that I got them flipped over, I'm going to let them do four minutes, three, four minutes on the other side, y'all. All right, y'all. It's been about three or four minutes on that side. Go ahead and take them out, transfer them to my pan. All right, got my sliders up in the pan. Now, I'm about to get my cheese to top these with. I got my roaster preheating right now at 375. It's got it preheating. So while it's preheating, I'm going to go ahead and cut up some cheese to put on top of my sliders, y'all. Let's do it. Okay, people, I got my cheese. Okay, I got some Gouda cheese. Gouda cheese. Tastes real good. That's what I'm going to top them with. And I'm going to just cut some slices to put on each one, y'all. You know, if you don't have no Gouda cheese, whatever cheese that you like, you can use... Your favorite cheese, cheddar, sharp, American, whatever you like, y'all. But I love this cheese, and you should try it. And now that I got my cheese on it, I'm going to go ahead and put it up in my roaster. I'm going to bring, I'm going to turn the temperature down to about 325, and uh, I'll say about 10 to 15 minutes, I'm going to let this do its thing, y'all. And while that's going on, we're going to go ahead and get our buns ready. Let's do it. All right, y'all. got my buns out, ready to get them toasted on up. I got some slaughter buns that I had got from my um, farmer's market. If you can't find slider buns, um, I've seen a lot of people use, like, the Hawaiian rolls, some square Hawaiian rolls. You can use them, Okay. But I got some starter rolls, so I'm going to go ahead and get these toasted up. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and heat my pan up. Medium high. Give it a second to heat up. And I got some ghee. Put a little bit of the clarified butter up in my pan. And get our buns toasted up on, y'all. Get our, get our buns toasted up. All right, y'all, I put a little bit of ghee in the pan. 
I'm gonna go ahead and get my 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 rolls up in there, get them toasted on up, y'all. All right, that's all I can fit in the pan right now at the moment. But I'm gonna probably just toast them on each side for about two minutes, y'all. Okay. All right, y'all, these are the last of my buns that I'm toasting up. Go ahead and turn my pan off. Get my buns up out of there. Oh, all right. All right, y'all, I'm done toasting my buns up. All right, got my... Sliders up out the roaster, ready to go. All right, now I'm gonna go ahead. As you can see, I, I took some great tomatoes and sliced them, you know, thin slices with some great tomatoes. That's gonna go for our topping. All right, I'm gonna also use some wild style chipotle sauce. Got it from Walmart. You know, like I say, it's great for burgers, fries, whatever. You know, trying to bring it to y'all real quick, but normally I make my own sauce. All right, and I got some shredded cabbage, y'all. That's what we're going to do instead of lettuce, man. You know, try to keep it a little healthy flow going on. All right. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and get one of my buns ready. All right. Get my sauce. You know, whatever kind of sauce y'all like, or however you like to top your burgers. Some ketchup. Alright. Go ahead and take a little bit of my shredded cabbage. You know, first I want to go ahead and spread the sauces on the buns. You know, spread the sauces out on the buns. Put a little bit of cabbage. And I just love the crunch of cabbage, y'all. Trust me, you'll love it. Alright, get one of my sliders. Boom. Cup of tomato. Alright. And boom. There we go, y'all. Streets turkey burger sliders, y'all. That's simple. Alright. So I'm going to go ahead and get the rest of these up on the plate. Come back to y'all. Let's do it. So there we go, y'all. I finished doing my sliders up. There we have it, y'all. My turkey burger sliders with the Gouda cheese, the shredded cabbage, and tomato, y'all. Freestyle cooking with streets, man. You can eat this with some fries, some chips, however you want to do it. Real easy, real simple, y'all. Alright. So, you know what it is. Subscribe, please subscribe, share, hit that like, and hit that notification, man, for more videos. Alright, thanks for watching, y'all. Holla!